Good morning, friends. Happy, happy Friday to you guys. It is Monday here for us as I am filming. I'm just sitting down with the coffee. Just finished doing my devotions. The kids are finishing up some writing at the table before we get started on our group schoolwork together. I set my alarm this morning. I set my alarm for before seven o'clock, which I haven't done, you guys. I have not set my alarm before seven in probably over a month maybe even closer to two months. I mean, sometimes maybe I would set my alarm for like 10 minutes to seven, but I, I tell you guys like, wake up before your kids if you wanna have some time to yourself in the morning and get your kind of your day organized before the kids are up. And I have not been waking up before my kids. And I feel fine about that. I don't feel like I've been lazy or anything. I think it's just the winter and just slowing down. And I have just felt like I've needed that, but it has made it a little bit tight for like getting up and then, okay, I still need to fit a workout in and, um, you know, breakfast and dishes and get a little laundry started and everything. And then school starts a little bit later. Um, but now that, what am I going to say? I was going to say now that there's been the time change, but the time change only means it's darker in the morning. Before the time change, it was light, 6.15 maybe, 6.30. And now, like this morning when I woke up, it was still totally dark outside. So I don't know what I was trying to allude to there. But now that it's getting closer to spring, I think that's what's kind of on my mind. We're getting into the springtime. The weather is just gradually getting a little bit warmer and I think I'm just ready to get back into the early mornings. What did you just kick under my chair? I don't know. And some of our cousins who live far away are gonna come um, visit over here. That's right. And I think I'm just ready to get back into in my earlier morning routine. So it worked well for today, but it's only Monday. So we'll see how the rest of this week goes. Welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. I did get up and get a load of laundry started first thing this morning. And so now before I sit down to start school with the kids, it's all ready to go into the dryer. What I do for laundry, this is a really full load. <laughs> what I do for laundry, typically we do a load every single every single day. So whether it's the boys' room, the girls' room, our room, Leslie's room, somebody gets their, their laundry started. Um, and then Saturdays we do extra laundry. So I do our bedding. And so every Saturday I do one of our bedrooms bedding. So our bedroom, Wesley's bedroom, the boys' bedroom, the girls' bedroom, there's four bedrooms in this house. So every Saturday we do somebody's bedding, which means everybody's bedding gets washed once a month, which might not be optimal, but that's what we can do. I feel pretty good about that. We'll also wash like towels on Saturdays. So we'll usually do three to four loads on a Saturday. Sunday we take off, uh, no laundry. <laughs> Why are you shutting the door on me here? <laughs> and then, um, you know, back to Monday and back to doing a little laundry every day. I do try to like not just wash a load, wash, dry, put away everything. Yes, Wesley, what do you, what do you have for me? Um, what do you have to ask me? Ask you my nap, can I play Minecraft with me again? <laughs> he, I don't, what? He said he wanted to make a house by in his house. Oh, yeah, because it was, well, Sunday the kids usually have a little bit more screen time and so they played Minecraft yesterday. And then we get into Monday and it's like, can we play it, can we play again today? And we don't, you'll do what? Oh, he's just telling Simeon. I wonder if that was his idea or if it was Simeon's idea and Simeon told him to ask mom. That's the little kid's trick. They ask, or that's the bigger kid's trick. They'll ask the little kids, can you go ask mom? Mom's more likely to give in to you. Hmm, we'll see. One. Two. Two. One. One. Three. 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 One. Four. Four. <laughs> Start like this and just the You have to keep yeah. your knees straight. Judy, is this good? Okay. Yeah. Your friends. I did it. Yep. Like, like your thumbs Good stretching, out. you guys. Like do the thumbs up. Okay, before we get started, can everyone just go stand over there? I want to show you your close? outfit. No, let's do okay, do okay, close. go stand with the other kids. <laughs> show who you're matching. Okay, we got everybody together. Look how cute everybody looks. Okay, tell me something about your outfit that you like. Look at these boys. They all got 
What? I like how I'm matching. You like how you're matching? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got we got some new outfits from Moody Tiger. How does pants and feel so funny on you when you slide around on your seat? The pants feel so funny on you when you slide around? Because yeah. they kind of like slide around too? Yeah, when you're sliding around on your seat. Okay. I, Elijah, what do you like? Um, the shirt. What do you like about it? Everything. Okay, Charity, what do you like? I like the looking so it goes here and I like the back of it. And the back of the shirt. I just wear a shirt with it. Yeah, it's very pretty. I was looking on their site and I found a matching outfit for the girls and I thought it was so pretty. But Charity had her own idea. She really, really, really wanted these leggings with this pattern at the bottom. Okay, Zara, tell me, what do you like? I like how it has like this pudding in it and then it's the back. Yeah, it's really also, pretty, it isn't it? Thing. Oh, the, oh, the thumb has holes. That too. Like I said, what they're wearing is Moody Tiger, which is a premium quality activewear brand for kids. Oh no, I can't say Wesley. I don't know if I can show myself and all of you kids. Um, <laughs> Moody Tiger is sponsoring today's video, so I'm showing you their outfits and how much we enjoy them. We got, so we got Moody Tiger outfits, what was it, last spring, I think? Beginning of last summer. And let me tell you, I got it for the first time and talked about it and said, you know, this is good quality athletic wear, the kids enjoy it. But now that we've had their athletic wear for a year, I will tell you, the kids love it. They choose to wear this athletic wear all the time. So they were super excited to get a new set. What did you want to say, Wesley? Um, we, we got the outfits when we were having the snack, like snacky double. Oh, last night. Yes, these outfits came in the mail and I said, you guys, I'm doing a brand deal. I'm working with this company. And so you guys can't wear them yet. I'm gonna keep them in the box until the day that we do the video to make sure everyone's outfits are clean all at once. And so they were excited when last night I pulled them out and said, okay, here's your outfits. That's what everyone's wearing tomorrow. Moody Tiger's clothing is made of high performance fabrics that are stylish and comfortable. The material is very stretchy and breathable and lightweight. This one is long sleeve, so it's not quite as lightweight as the ones we have, the t-shirts that we have, but very breathable material. Moody Tiger sells clothing for, <laughs> for kids ages four to 16. I will link them down below. I also have a coupon code. I will put that all, all that information down below in the description box. Look, I didn't know if we'd be able to do it. I fit everybody. <laughs> into the screen oh my goodness okay everybody smile thumbnail smile nice for a thumbnail and a thumbs up now everyone has their Bible books oh, out for us to this. do <laughs> you like the colors okay okay good <laughs> um, we're gonna get into our Bible curriculum and our read aloud book I told you guys we were gonna finish the little house in the prairie series and read the first four years we don't own the first four years, but I thought for sure our library Yay! would have it. We our library does up. not have it. And so we took a little break before reading the last little house book. And um, now we're reading this one. I guess I'm gonna have to buy the first four years. I knew that it wasn't as popular of one, but I had no idea our library didn't even hold it. Uh, my in-laws, I went to their house and thought, oh, I'll get, I'll just borrow it from them. They have the entire series besides the first four years, same as us. Now the process of getting all of our winter gear on to go outside. <laughs> Only for hopefully a couple more weeks. The snow is melting. Look, big patch of grass there, big patch of grass. We're getting into springtime. Um, hopefully by the end of March we can be, you know, going outside with just slush pants on and not and not snow pants on. Hey, but today we're doing snow pants, so let's get all your stuff on. Andrew also has some plants. I actually don't even remember what these all are, but he has these little That's plants. Blueberries. Down there. Blueberries. These ones in here are blueberries, I yeah. believe, right? These are tomatoes. I think these are blueberries. There are some tomatoes Those here tomatoes. and something tomatoes. else. These don't look like they're tomatoes. I don't think they're tomatoes, are they? No, I, I don't think know. Maybe I don't know. He's the gardener in our house, but yeah, he's getting some plants ready. Really I don't think any of them are raspberries. I don't okay. Know. I don't know. If you Everyone's have a green thumb. Thumb. Pardon me? Do you have a green thumb? Do I have a green thumb? Yeah. No. Dad has a green thumb. He, he does. does. I haven't really gardened enough to... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Calvin! 
Okay, get down and put them on your feet. You can't have a green thumb unless you've actually practiced gardening. So like you have to actually learn how to garden before you can have a green thumb. While they go outside and play. I am so excited for spring coming like I was talking about. Sit down and put them on your feet. It takes them so long to get outside. I think I just talked about that in my last vlog, but I'm like, just go, get out the door. Um, anyway, I am so excited now again with the time change and it's, you know, light later into the evening. It is really, really making me so excited. So excited about spring and summer coming up. Okay, I need to go kick these kids out the door a little bit faster. This is a little bit of a more intensive lunch than I usually like to make. I usually just like to make something really quick and easy, but I really wanted to make some English muffins today. I mean, it is pretty easy. It just takes some time. So it's 11.15. I've got my pans. They should be almost warm, but they do take, I put the English muffin dough. It's simply sourdough and honey, salt, and baking soda. Really like clean, simple ingredients, but I have to put them on the pan and they do cook for about 20 minutes before they're ready. I've got them all on the pan, so those, as I said, will take a little while to cook, and then I've got one more uh, small batch to do as well, and I think I'm going to also either fry or scramble up some eggs to go with these. Here are the English muffins I have made so far. Um, they, I've gotten better at making them. I used to make them and I'd get comments on like my videos or my um, like Instagram posts saying, are those pancakes? They don't look like English muffins, they look like pancakes. <laughs> but I've gotten better at making them. Uh, they do look different than like your store-bought English muffins because they are fried, they're not just baked. But I'm gonna stick these in the oven to keep them warm as I bake one more batch. Actually, I should get this element back on too so I can start. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait till the kids are in <laughs> before I start it. They're still outside playing, but I've got my scrambled eggs ready to go. These ones have a few minutes left, but I wanted to quickly talk with you guys quickly, quickly. Um, I know that Gather Round has their sale on their curriculum. I think it's next week. I need to double check what the dates are, but I think it's next week. And usually their sale is June. They moved it up to March this year, and I have no clue what units we're doing next year. I know that we're sticking with Gather Round. We still love it, but I really need to get going on planning our next year so that I can take part in the sale. I do buy all the units at once before the year starts, so like six units usually that we do. So if I can get a few dollars off of each unit, I definitely want to take advantage of that. No, not sponsored or affiliated with Gather Round at all, but just wanted to give you that heads up. Um, that is the curriculum that we use. Well, I just finished filming, separate video. This is the basket from my closet that holds all of the kids' Easter gifts. I love these. This goes with our um, Pax wardrobe closet system, organizing system. And so these fit on the shelf in our closet. I have quite a few of these and they are great for, for storing gifts. That's what I use them for, for the most part. But I did just film that what's in my kids Easter basket video. That will be going up on Monday. I have to always like think through my schedule. <laughs> like when? Is it really going up Monday? Yes. This is going up Friday. You will see the Easter gifts video on Monday. Maybe that'll give you a few Easter gift ideas for your kids. I like to put these videos out, you know, a few weeks before the actual holiday in case you want gift ideas for your kids. We are keeping it super minimal this year, probably the most minimal we've ever kept it, but just a few meaningful gifts. Make sure you check that video out on Monday. Do you want to tell everybody what book you're reading? Yes. What book is it? The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games. Elijah requested this. <laughs> Hunger means like you have a hungry belly. I saw this book at the library and I was like, Elijah, I think, is my coffee in like every shot? Yeah, it always is. I was like, I think you're maybe old enough to read this book. Yeah, okay, so this isn't really great that both books are reading, both boys are reading it at once because, because I know there ends up being some fighting, but <laughs> Elijah did borrow it. I'm gonna give Elijah his piano lesson right now and then Simeon, whose turn is it to read it? So what happened actually, Andrew was like, yeah, Sim, you can read it, that's fine. Right? You asked Daddy? No, he said, uh, um, you can start reading it 
But, um, he, he said, but I don't think you'd like it. That, yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's what I thought, too. I was like, okay, fine, Simeon, you can start it. I thought, he's not going to be into it. It's going to be too, like, too above his head. What do you mean above his head? Like, just, like, too mature for him. Like, his mind couldn't quite comprehend what was happening. But um, I've been proven wrong <laughs> because he's been glued to this book. A hundred pages? I think there are more. Three hundred pages, I'd be close to dead. There's three hundred seventy-four pages. Three hundred and seventy-four pages. Wesley, how's that for a long book? That's long, isn't it? So long. I can say a number longer than that. You can say a number longer than that. What number can you say? I, I thought you were burping. You have the hiccups, don't you? <laughs> okay, what can you say? Um, I a... What's the biggest number you know? Uh, 100 billion. Whoa! I know. That is such a big number. This morning the kids went out and wore their snow pants, but this afternoon... Where is she? Can you see her? Oh, there she is. She's behind the tree. She's just out there. Running around the yard. She's got her her winter boots on It's a little bit cold to not have a coat on but I guess when you're running around being active You don't feel cold at all, eh? Yeah. Does it feel so nice out here? The yeah. sunshine? Oh and my it's goodness like funny cause, cause air gets <laughs> Yes, oh it feels nice. Yeah, I know I spend so much time talking about the weather and like it's getting warmer outside mm -hmm. but like honestly we get so excited we, oh, I just dressed a little more appropriately, but we get so excited about the springtime after our long winter. The kids have each Wait, spent spent already? some time. It is. Do you know what? I just realized partway through the day. It's the first day of spring today. <gasps> it's spring. It is. Yeah. The kids have each spent a little bit of time out here reading today. It's that just is. sitting here in the sunshine. Like in the mm -hmm. middle of spring. Gonna Pardon? Be, in the middle of spring, there's only gonna like be like little bits of snow. Yes. Well, look at this, Sara. Yesterday, I took a picture and I posted it on Instagram, and I said, "Look, a patch of grass is showing. That patch right there came through the, the last day. couple of days, and look how much more grass showed up today." Yeah, and then <laughs> See, we all get so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you off to run around the yard again? Yeah. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> Love our big backyard. Hey, that was some really good running. Sorry, I'm trying to zoom out and I'm zooming. Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is a cute face I'm focused in on. Thank you guys for coming along for today's Day in the Life. I hope that you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And uh, we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.